Hello, welcome to Meraki MV Science Camera Session. In today's session, we are going to discuss approach to solve problem of long queue at ticketing window. Before we start, I would like to congratulate you for your decision to join Smart India Hackathon. This is a unique opportunity where government ministries, industrial professionals and students are volunteering together to solve the real problems. This is like a Trivani Sangam where three forces are joining together to make India smarter. A brief introduction about me. I am Nilesh Pateria. I am technical leader at Cisco's developer platform. My expertise is in cloud native platform and microservices. I have been working with Cisco since 2012. Before that, I have been working in India Pune with persistent systems and Veritas for around a decade. I hold a master's degree from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. So in today's session, we are going to look more into long queue problem statement. And we are going to look at how to solve it using Cisco's Meraki security camera. As a developer, we will de dig deep into dashboard and API capabilities of those cameras. And finally, we will also look at some of the sample applications that we have created so that it may help you bootstrap your project using these technologies. So looking at problem statement, I think most of us are very well aware of like long queues at many places like railway stations, RD offices, passport offices, banks, and many other places. Uh, these long queues typically lead to like bad service experience. So main idea is uh, security camera are installed at these places, most of these public places. What if these security cameras can be extended to auto detect people and count the people uh, which are seen by that camera? And not only count the people seen by camera, but you can even define a zone within that area so that, for example, on window three, how many people are present? And then this data can be captured real time as well as historically. And this historical data is of really great use because it allows you to do foot traffic analysis. Once this data, historical data is available to the managers of these premises, they can use this data to identify if there is some specific time of the day when the traffic is much higher or the queues are really long. And they can allocate like additional resources or open up new windows only for those couple of hours. Also, they can advertise and promote uh, the time zones where uh, it's less crowded so that people can come maybe during afternoon where uh, people, where queue size is much smaller. So this is one of the use case for people detection using security camera. But there are multiple use cases that we can solve and think about in, in terms of like government ministries and organization. One of the challenges for education ministries to identify number of students attending schools. Uh, so security cameras are typically installed on school premises, but these cameras, if they can be utilized also for maintaining attendance for school, either at broader school premises or in specific classrooms. So that would make it like automatic attendance management system. Secondly, like at many offices where or public service offices, sometimes like staff has to leave for some reason or other. And that affect like overall service experience for the visitors. So if these camera can detect if a staff is out of their desk for a specific amount of time, then managers can be informed so that manager can make an alternative arrangement for that. Lastly, like uh, suppose if you have a premises which is supposed to be closed from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. 
and if we detect a person activity then security persons can be informed about an unauthorized activity and they can look at the live feed and take an action required. And these government also organizes a lot of events and on those venues if we can count entrance and exit count for the people that would help us to better manage those events. So we have looked at, now we know that we have these people detection using security camera can help in a lot of scenarios. Now let's look at uh, some of the technology available to help you do this. If you are not aware of uh, Meraki brand of security, Cisco Meraki is the leader in cloud control, Wi-Fi routing and security. Uh, one of the key features which a lot of people also call Meraki Magic is centralized cloud management for these devices. Uh, what it enables is like you can configure, manage and update these devices uh, from central location cloud and there is no need to have expert in every on-premise on where these devices are installed which reduces like expertise requirement across a lot of places. And these devices uh, also include uh, very high grade solid state storage as well as powerful onboard processor. And this is a unique, arch it supports unique architecture where videos are stored in camera and they are optionally archived in the cloud. So looking further into this architecture, if you look at uh, the, those cameras installed on these premises captures uh, video streams and the onboard processor analyzes the video stream and, and stores the stream locally on, on solid state devices. And this uh, for the local security person, they can view these video stream directly from the camera without going over internet. But if you are watching this remotely from the central security system, then it goes to Meraki Cloud and from there you can even do remote viewing. One of the advantages this approach gives is, even if network is down, uh, your security stream is still recorded on camera. And transfer of the video stream is optimized over network. So it's uh, so Meraki MV series camera is not just about like monitoring and security stream, video stream, but it's also about additional feature that we can enable using the same security camera. One of the key feature it does is like object detection or person detection. So based on the a powerful processor that is uh, installed on each of these camera. Uh, these camera can analyze the live stream and can detect number of people or objects in, in, in as seen by a video stream. And based on that, it can do the people counting in camera itself. And also generate kind of heat map of traffic pattern that is seen by a specific camera. And since this, uh, we are more interested in analytics of people and not like actual person for the security reasons. So people are identified by IDs, not by their real names. So if you look from our dev development application point of view, uh, Meraki MV Sense cameras are capturing those video frames and they are analyzing on using onboard processor. At the end, two key metrics that they capture is, is count of people and number of entrances. And those key metrics are exposed using multiple ways, uh, either REST APIs and MQTT based message queue. So REST API, you can get the current snapshot view, number of people present or seen by that camera. Or you can see historical view, how many people were present at yesterday at this point from say 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And if you are, if you want to implement an alerting solution, you would want to subscribe to real-time feed using MQTT protocol. 
see subscribe to a feed from a specific camera and and if you see a, a unexpected number of counts then you can raise an alert so these are like high level features but as a developer we want to dig deep into next level and understand what are the capabilities uh, supported by dashboard and interest uh, apis so let's look into it so Meraki camera or other devices have a web-based dashboard. Uh, I have created a snapshot for these dashboards. So this is this is a snapshot for the Cisco merchandise store where we have installed Meraki and the cameras. So in this we can see if I have most useful uh, feature for security personnel is a video wall where you can see feed, live feed from all the cameras. As well as you can, you can you have a timeline. You can slide the time time window and see live feed for a specific time range. Uh, in addition to it, you, using the dashboard, you can see how the people detection is working, and you can again slide the window and see how many people were detected by a camera. And since this this uses machine learning, the uh, detection process keeps on improving over a period of time. And finally, like the two key metrics that is captured by these cameras, the people count and total entrances are stored uh, in Meraki Cloud. And the basic dashboard allows you to see a number of people who are present at a specific hour or number of people who entered or exited that particular premises during that hour and it you can also see a basic heat map of what are the areas where people are most visiting this particular store and since uh, most of these cameras have like wide angle uh, you may be interested in only monitoring a specific area. So Miraki MV camera also allows you to define zones so that you can monitor people count and and entrances in a specific zone. For example, for this particular camera, we have defined three zones. First zone is for uh, to see uh, area where people can buy jackets and shirts. Uh, second zone is a POS system where employee would be billing the customers and third is like Q which is uh, for that particular uh, billing counter and since I took this snapshot during off hours uh, so you don't see any person in this uh, zones so that was dashboard which is if if you have a very basic use case then uh, that is most of the time that may be good enough but if you are developing a custom application like that we discussed you want to get the access to information using api so that you can do your own data analytics and and your build your own custom applications so for that uh, meraki camera exposes analytics apis so some it's a it's a very simple API uh, and few APIs that we can look at. Uh, so first API allows you to give overall overview of camera, so which is like if you have defined five zones in a camera, uh, so it can tell you number of people seen by camera and each zone in a single. Zone. Then you can also list number of zones defined in this particular camera. Then you can get the historical data or most recent data for a specific zone. So let's go, go and look at uh, individual APIs. So in this case, what we are looking at is the Postman, which is a REST API uh, client. Uh, I I captured the snapshot for APIs for for saving some time. In this first thing, we are trying to um, analyze the overall view that is seen by this specific camera so in this there are two zones defined and so zone zero is always like full camera and these are the other two zones defined and and we can see entrances and average count for these uh, cameras and what is the start time and end time stamp for this particular record uh, typically it's a one minute record that you will see 
the second is like for an specific zone you can also uh, you can find the information but for that you need to find out how many zones are defined in this camera so in this case we can see there are three zones that are defined for this particular camera and then for a specific zone so here you are providing camera serial id and zone id and for that specific zone you can see the historical information so so for every one minute period of time you can see how many people were present and how many people entered in this particular zone and you can see the historical data based on time stamp and and you can capture number of records that you want to get in each api call and finally you can also get uh, for a specific zone what are the current values so for example this point in time oh, how many people are present in this particular zone so these are few sets of api that help you uh, enable writing your custom applications as you have seen these are very basic apis but very powerful since most of the um, most of the heavyweight work is already done by the processor and the camera so uh, so you so for you the two fields that is of interest is average count of people present and average number of people who entered that particular zone or camera so those are like basic apis which ca which can help you in building the solution but uh, we have also built a couple of uh, simple apps that might help you bootstrap your project uh, so first application is meraki beat based data pipeline so meraki beat uh, beat is a plugin framework uh, developed by elastic search elastic company this is a uh, open source framework uh, where you can build your own custom plugin for input or output in this case we build a custom plugin for meraki uh, meraki we call it meraki beat this plugin calls Meraki APIs. In this case, interest uh, our interest is in ca camera APIs. So it pulls the camera APIs uh, using Beats interface, and then that information is stored in Elasticsearch for longer-term data analytics. So you can configure like a number of cameras and and zones that you, that is of interest, and uh, it will keep pulling those. Uh, those API endpoint and they start storing information in Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a data store typically used for uh, data analysis and storing like time series data and other data, which large amount, large data. And on top of it, like this project uses like Kibana, which is another open source project for visualization. And, and you can create a dashboard to visualize your data. So this is a custom dashboard or sample dashboard that we created using this pipeline for Cisco store. Uh, you can see like you, uh, for period of time, you can see overall traffic pattern, uh, how many people visited, how many people kind of like average number of people out there and on cash registers, what are the average queue size and what is the number of people entering and exiting uh, in that cash, cash registers. We defined multiple zones within the Cisco store and what are the traffic pattern number of people entering, exiting those zones. So this gives you like uh, overall idea of how you can utilize uh, zoning and this counting feature for your custom application. Another simple application that we have built is, uh, is based on MQTT message queue. Uh, this is notification and alerting system. So, so this application watches MQTT a broker for set of cameras, and and this uh, this application get activated during off hours. For example, in Cisco store from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., we do not expect any human activity out there. So if we detect a human activity or if, if camera detects a person uh, uh, for a threshold period of time within that time duration, we raise an alert to our Cisco security system. So uh, 
it's a very small python script you can look at it it's on github uh, but it's a very powerful use case that can be supported in few lines of code uh, so these are additional resources we have our own site which details which have more details about sih how we are how cisco is supporting sih what are the problem statement that we have given for sih and uh, these are other resources where we can find more detail about cisco meraki mv camera uh, apis and some other applications so i wish this uh, i hope this session is helpful to you and you will try and create a solution around around these problems and submit these in sih uh, looking forward to your submission and all the best for your sih submission thank you